The pink pill is the pink pill now. Put your piggies up now, up, up now, up. Live well to the extreme now. Put your piggies up now, up, up now, up. Hey, it's Pinky. You're on the Pink Pill YouTube channel. Be a love and like, share, and subscribe. Pinky's up. Hey y'all, it's your girl Pink Pill and I'm back making more videos. I got weeks and weeks of content for you coming up. So make sure that you like, share, and subscribe and make sure you hit the notifications so you know when I am coming out with a video. So here I have a story that I want to present to you with a very heavy heart. It's truly... <laughs> Truly sad news for me. <laughs> Reported the two appearing to embrace and kiss and then get into the back of the officer's squad car. We couldn't believe what we were seeing. And then what really made us go like, wow, like this is crazy is when, like I said, when the car started rocking a little bit to the left and right, that's when we were like, wow, this is crazy. And broad daylight with kids around. He was in the car for about 35 to 40 minutes. Afterward, he says both quickly drove away in separate directions. The Daily Mail has been obsessed, literally obsessed, with the Maryland police officer who was caught on video loving up on what looks to be a very uh, brown woman, kissing and cuddling her as his billiard ball head bends down to meet her lips as he towers over her. He then escorts her to the back of his vehicle, presumably to uh, apply some biological hydraulics to his service vehicle. And the woman is just, you know, she's just helping. After the video was presented to the Prince George Police Department, the press identified the amorous officer as Francesco Martlett. He is Francesco, who is now suspended as the department investigates. Surely, this is not the first time that a married police officer has had a sneaky link on the job, but this event has made really, really juicy news because Officer Martlett has a very very specific physical type. We discovered this because his wife, Paula Martlett, identified herself and her husband via Facebook and boy, oh boy, the ghetto triangle of it all rivals anything you might see on Real Housewives. In fact, I'm calling it, this is an episode of the Real Housewives of Prince George County. Okay. Paula posted the following on our Facebook when the news broke. Thank you, everyone. This is a very tough time for me and my kids. As embarrassing and painful as this is, please check in on us. We need the support and love and most of all, the respect from the community and our families. Yes, I know what's been going on. No, I am not updating anyone on the situation after today. Virginia's husband left her ass. Virginia is the other one left her ass a long time ago because she cheated so she and my husband decided to do this behind my back for years i'm not seeking anyone else's input i don't need anyone else's opinion my life is my life i will make decisions accordingly she said according but i'm just adding the ly because that's grammatically correct and you know that's what i do i love you all except for you virginia you can rot in hell bitch <gasps> oh. oh, so the, the mistress, whose name is Virginia Pinto, was not going to let that slide. And she came out with an announcement of her own. Oh, y'all, this is so messy. Not that I owe anyone an explanation. This girl has been cheating on her husband for a while now herself. I know everything. Okay, first off, let me just stop for a second. Women, if you are the mistress, you don't know nothing. You just know what he tells you. And honey, if you are the mistress, it's because he has a motivation to lie to you. Okay? So you don't know everything. You just know what he tells you. There's a reason why my wife doesn't understand me is a cliche. Okay? All right. Let's just keep going on. Everyone, look, this is life and y'all know nothing. I've done nothing wrong. All I want to say is y'all have the wrong info. Paula Martlett isn't saying the whole story, which I understand, but please don't be mad at me because your husband wants me. 
Mm, okay, so shots fired. Daily Mail also reported that Virginia has been romantically involved with the officer for over two years and insists she isn't just some jump off. She proudly says, I'm into white guys and reported that her teenage son's father is also white. I'm not sure why that matters, but okay, sis. You insist you're in a serious relationship, but he couldn't even spring a room at the Red Roof Inn for you? You getting caught in the backseat of a police vehicle is not a flex, okay? It's not. There's a lot of women who perform in the back of police vehicles. It ain't a flex. There is so much wrong with the situation. I hardly know where to begin. You've got a wife and mom of three calling negative attention to herself, which has resulted in her image splashed all over the news and now facing adultery allegations herself. The mistress's response to her splattered there too as she taunts the, poor, taunts the poor wife about her nasty husband wanting her more, with the common denominator being a baby powder Dusty who is now on his third suspension. One of the suspensions was due to allegations that he knocked his then-girlfriend's three-year-old son against the wall because he soiled the bed. Newsflash, you jerk! Three-year-olds who are still mastering potty training occasionally have accidents. And in other news, I chew my food before swallowing. Mysteriously, this low-down Lothario was reinstated after the charges were suddenly dropped. And I have more questions. Was it his wife? Paula's child he beamed to the wall and did the marriage come about because he wanted to save his job and maybe even his freedom? If so, shame on you, Paula. Shame, shame, shame. But the biggest letdown in this story is very personal to me. 13 years, 13 long years, I've been encouraging black women to expand their dating options and date interracially. With low marriage rates and high divorce rates outnumbering black men by millions, the highest out of wedlock rate, and general relational disrespect, I want black women to experience something different, you guys. I really, really do. But not black women migrating to the other side of the fence only to be overcome with allergy symptoms because you've gotten yourself a baby powder dusty. Say it ain't so. There's so much potential for black women to move more freely in interracial dating and experience the benefits, but not if you are so familiar with mistreatment that you are attracted to the same type of men who treat you the same kind of way. Here's the thing about familiarity when it comes to romantic relationships. If you have been subjected to high levels of mistreatment from very early on in your life, your brain adapts for the sake of survival. You may know that what you've experienced was awful, but your brain has been hardwired to survive it. So you see certain mannerisms and behaviors in people regardless of race. You're going to be attracted to it because while it's dysfunctional, your brain predicts that these scenarios are survivable. In other words, if you don't seek the healing necessary, you'll keep picking the devil you know. One of the things I find really annoying about having these public conversations that stay surface level online in spaces like YouTube is that some viewers apply the surface level solutions that end up in disaster. If all you get from me is date a white man, any white man, I'm going to need to speak to your fourth grade teacher because she's got some explaining to do. And in case you've missed it the 11,000 times I've said it before, I'll say it again. Melanin does not make the man. His character, beliefs, and values do. Here you have two black women swapping juices with a violent cheater and fighting over who he wants more. A man who risked his job not one but three times for selfish reasons that can and do risk his ability to properly protect and provide. What about this being a white guy would make him seem any better than what so many of us experience in the community? But if you're in that familiarity feedback loop, that helped you survive and adapt when you were young and powerless, it will be the thing that will undo you in the end. So bottom line, ladies, here is the deal. Swirl responsibly, get your healing, and get off the hamster wheel.